in a fucking student, nigga. You already know the fucking vibes. No cap. Booze in my pocket, thought to say I'm getting sick. I'm dripping in his island, now they stick I'm hitting licks. Boy, I bust up. They found a plan to make you rich. Middle finger up, boy, I hate it. Yo, 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 what's up, homies? Welcome back to another installment of Things That Just Made Sense Growing Up. I believe this is part three. <clears throat> and you already know from the previous videos, we just talk shit about things that was said, done to us growing up, and see if you guys relate, if y'all understand, if you feel it. You feel me? All right. One thing I feel like this generation is missing is playing outside. You feel me? Like, I'm talking about playing outside, playing football, curveball. If you know, you know I was the GOAT. Over the car means game. I was hitting that shit all the time. Niggas is corny. Um, Freeze tag, knock knock, zoom zoom, ding, ding door dash, whatever the shit is called. Um, what's another game? I said free manhunt games like that bro i feel like i feel like the next generation is missing out they're not really playing these games and experience the outside life that's why like when i have kids i'm gonna really like you know what i'm saying i'm gonna make sure my kids are playing outside bro they're not about to be in the house all the time with the ipad the iphone the video no we y'all playing outside and y'all gonna like it and y'all gonna enjoy it but what i want to say based off of that is you had to be in once those street lights came on You know, you had to be in the house once those street street lights came on. As soon as that street light come on, you already knew. All right, y'all, we I gotta go in, bro. Did not play it. Nowadays, it feels like motherfuckers, bro. Motherfuckers be out until like midnight. They fifteen, sixteen out till eleven o'clock at night. What? Where we do that at? I was not out that late. I was not out that late. I mean, once in a while, I was out that late, but in front of my house. But motherfuckers be taking trips that late. I'm talking about niggas be at girlfriend's house, boyfriend's house, outside, doing hood rat shit and shit they know they not supposed to be doing. They be doing shit they not supposed to do. That's the crazy part about it, bro. Especially in Philly. Y'all need to get y'all kids in the house. Take their ass and put belt to it. Belt to ass is needed, bro. I'm not a big fan of beating your kids, but I ain't gonna lie. Some of these kids need to, that belt to ass. A lot of them. That's I just had to go on that rant. Because, bro, it be too much shit going on in Philly, bro. It be too many kids fighting, shooting, bro. I believe, like, yesterday night, a 16-year-old got shot at 15th Street, bro. What the fuck? Nigga is 16 years old. Why is that happening? But I say this to say that. Bring y'all kids in the house. Whoop they ass. Have, as soon as that street light come on, they need to be in. But another thing I want to talk about is something I had to experience. When you get in trouble or you run in the house too many times, they make you watch your friends play. It's not that they make you watch your friends play, but like they be like, you can't go back outside. And then everybody be outside, bro. And it be the, they be having the most fun. It be the best day ever, bro. Niggas playing all types of games. They be like, yo, this happened. Bro, I'm trying to tell you. Every single time, every single fucking time I had to stay in the house because I ran in and out too much or I, I was on punishment. I would literally grab a chair, sit right by the window and just watch all my friends play. And they be like, can they show sure come out? Nah, he on punishment. Damn, what you do? I ain't even do nothing. Ain't. I used to, I ain't really do nothing, man. I be chilling. What you do, bro? Tight shit. But that shit used to be painful, bro. That's like one of the top 10. As a child, bro, that's top 10 worst feelings, bro. Watching all your friends play outside because you either did something bad or ran in the house too many times. Shit, crazy. Uh, what else? Yo. 
<laughs> I got a story about this one. Yo, lying about you as a kid. I don't know if everyone does this, but I know a lot of black parents do this or black people do this. Have their kids lie about their age so they could get a discount. Usually it's in restaurants, but it could be other places. They be like, yeah, you only 10. Ooh, man. You only this age. I remember this one time. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not exposing no one. Because this was at a time where this this... Being a little offensive was acceptable. So, I was about maybe like 11, 12. So, this was about 10, 11 years ago. And some, I was with someone. And they told me. And I'm sorry. I regret doing this. I regret doing this. I really do. I really regret doing this. Because it, it was offensive. They told me act slow so you could get a discount right they said act slow so you could get they didn't say the word slow so i'm just i'm you know what i'm saying they they said act slow well let's say mentally impaired they said act mentally impaired so we could get this discount and baby i'm gonna act so just just let just you know what I'm saying? Just just to be known. I did some crazy I made noises, sounds, everything. And do I feel bad about it now? Yes. But can you cancel me? No, because I was 12 years old. You cannot cancel me for that. I was 12 years old. And this was like 2011, 2010 ish. Maybe 2013. Around that area. It was still okay to be offensive. I was a different person back then. I learned from my mistakes. You feel me? And still a little bit about lying about your age. If you're from Philly, you know as you basically get on SEPTA for free. So it was, we used to lie about my age. And I'm tall as shit. He only four, three, four. Whole time I'm like five, six. He only four. Because it was at a point where, like, if you was under the joint, they didn't make you pay. So, sometimes they made me pay, sometimes they didn't. But when we used to get on the train, the L, bro, we used to go straight under the turnstile. Straight under. I used to go straight under that turnstile, bro. Every time. I hit my head a few times. I probably got a little bumps and stuff. Not going to hold you. Definitely got a few bumps and bruises from that. No cap, bro. Hold on, my phone bugging out right now. But, yeah. <clears throat> I used to go straight under that. See, me, one thing about, you know what I'm saying, living in Philly, you always try to find some shortcut, you feel me? Save money somehow. Lying about your age. I feel like lying about your age is a common thing in a black household when you're young, just so you could get discounts. Not lying about your age in a club, all right? That's different. That's way different, okay? Don't do that. That's bad. But lying about your age to get a discount at like an Applebee's. I ain't mad at you. You feel me? All right. And then the last thing, bro. I used to hate this shit, bro. Is having to change your card on your behavior chart over a minor accident or incident, bro. This shit used to, bro, I, because I was so, like, as a kid, afraid of, like, disappointing my mom and shit, bro. Because I, I held myself to a high standard, even as a kid. So, anytime they, I would be talking. Everyone else would be talking. I'll be talking. They should change your card. And then they used to send you a calendar with your behavior, bro. I cried so hard, bro. And then my teacher changed it back. Because it wasn't that serious. Like, I understand if it was serious. Like, I understand if it was serious, bro. It, it would be sometimes just over talking for, like, 30 seconds, bro. To, and, like, that's what I'm saying. We're humans. Why do why do people expect us not to talk, bro? I'm not going to separate topic, but motherfuckers think we're not supposed to talk. Even at jobs, bro, they'd be like, Shh, no talking. Fuck, so we're not supposed to socialize with our co-workers? So y'all just want us to work and work. Y'all want us to have no fun. And then when motherfuckers, not, it's not a good culture there. Y'all like, y'all be surprised why the culture bad. 
every time we try and talk to somebody, y'all be like, shut up, basically. But that's a topic for another day. But yeah, bro, I used to hate changing my car, bro. That shit used to piss me off. I used to cry so bad. That shit used to hurt my feelings. And it was always over a minor incident. Always over a minor fucking incident, bro. Like, I, I feel like... And I might just be saying this because it's me. But I feel as though I never deserved to get my car changed, bro. I never deserved to get my car changed, bro. I'm going to keep it up. Beansky with you. Never deserved that shit. So the motherfuckers... And then after that, I, I, I would stop talking to people. Um. And then once you don't want to talk to niggas, bro, that's when niggas want to bust all the jokes. They want to be Kevin Hart, Cat Williams, bro. They want to be funny as shit, bro. And you just... Bro, chill. Chill, bro, chill. I'm not trying to get my car to red. It's already on yellow. You're going to get me in trouble. That's how it used to be, bro. Changing your car to red was critical, bro. But that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this little um, segment I got going on. This this is like episode three, so I'm, I'm filming these bitches in advance. By the time, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. But if y'all want me to talk, address anything y'all had growing up, maybe I could relate to, leave a comment below. Make sure you um like and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell. You know what I'm saying? We're growing every single day, and I appreciate y'all. I love you boys and girls because we're not sexist, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.